Back to the show. It's time to talk about uh, what is trending out there. And you know, I love cats. Uh, no, <laughs> I haven't actually noticed that at all. And con really? contrary to popular cats? belief, I do not own cats. No, which no. makes it both better. And worse. And worse, all at <laughs> the same time, that you are so fascinated by cat videos, and yet- I like to watch them. You I don't like the animals. I don't like them to watch me. No, I, that's what I love about cats. <laughs> cats always look at you like, you know, you know by looking at a cat that if you die, it's eating your eyeballs. Okay, Martha Stewart, uh, she's known for her love of animals, maybe more for her chow chows than her, her cats, but she got two new Persian kittens. <laughs> so of course she's Martha Come Stewart, on. so she blogged about it. If you go to Martha's blog, you can find out more. Here's her two new kitty cats uh, she wanted to introduce to the world. Oh look, kitty cats. And then here's the kitty cats coming to the house. Oh, that's so cute. And then here's a picture of Martha Stewart. Is she biting her cat? Biting her cat's face. But she's Martha Stewart, so anything that she does, she does for a reason. And she wants to know, and she wrote this herself, as with all my new you pets, I gently bit each kitten on the face. This is how I let my animals know that I am now their mother. Wow, she also did the same thing with her husband, <laughs> former. <laughs> ah. So if you see Martha Stewart coming at you to take a chomp, she just wants to did be you your mommy. Did you do that with your, your, your dog? My dog? With Chewy? I wouldn't bite my dog. But she's not biting, she's just telling them something. <laughs> really creepy. Like if you do make me mad, I'm going to eat your face. I am your mother now. Wow, I take all that back. Okay, yes, I do know, of course, about your love of cats. And guess what, Fiona? There is going to be the world's first ever cat video film festival. That's right, this young lady has been such an advocate for cat videos on the internet. What has in the past been a completely solitary pursuit. Just to clarify, he's not talking about me. No, this is uh, Jane Claire Quigley. She sounds sane. Yes, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Triple barrel, Jane Claire always makes you... Uh, yeah. But anyway, she uh, basically pestered everyone into now putting together. It's in Minneapolis, so you have to travel a little bit. Mm -hmm. But here's the exciting thing. They are accepting submissions to the first ever cat film festival. So you can actually submit things as you go. And what of course, submitting? the classic submission. What else could you do? Let's go to the Wayback Machine. Now... You can not only watch this, you get to watch this with other people. Does so that make it better? they're actually having a film festival a film fest. of cat videos from the internet. Yes. Why yes. are we not covering this? Uh, well, like going. I just found out about Let's it. Let's go. Do you know how hard Let's it's going to go? Do you know how hard it's going to be to get media credentials for that? <laughs> Virtually impossible. Virtually impossible. Okay, uh, and you know I do love my dog. I do not bite his face, but uh, what would it's happen? It's because you don't love it. it. What would happen if you tried to play hide and seek with your dog? Well, here is a video of somebody playing hide and seek with their Irish terrier. God, I hope the terrier wins. He does. No, but look at him. He's like, where is he? Oh? Where is he? Where is he? I knew he's here. Oh? I know he's here somewhere. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Locking on. Locking on. <laughs> what is that move? <laughs> Bite him on the face. <laughs> Bite him on the face. That's how you end I the game, I just thought though. that was super cute. So you love, uh, this is not cute. This is, uh, I don't know what quite, what do you call it when people love stuffed animals and stuff like that? Plushy love? Plushy love. So this is, I think, bordering into that territory because someone has actually created real life, fully workable uh, mermaid tails. So ladies, and why you were you on this portion of the internet? I just found this portion of the internet, but 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 they're actual mermaid tales. But, but, but. So if you have a if you have a weird Disney Ariel fantasy, this could be the answer for you. But here, just a sec, I'm just going to switch uh, so that you can actually see so a video. So these are outfits so that you can be yeah. a mermaid. The seaweed is always green in somebody else's lake. You dream about going What you guys are missing down. is that Michael Eckford is mermaid dancing next to me. Blah, Just look blah. at the world around you, right here on the ocean so floor. So, you want, you... Let's just let me simmer in my shame for How a minute. How many did you order? Well, Can you imagine give, him as a mermaid? They give a bulk deal on six mermaids, or more. Mermaids, hairy chests. <laughs> no. 
I'm your merman. I'm not a mermaid. I'm okay, a merman. we wanted to tell you about a great event that one of our guests, Dr. Jamie Matthews, yes. is having. Uh, this is something that he does every year. It's the Universe is Our Neighborhood. It's a free open house at the McMillan Space Center, uh, a.k.a. the Planetarium. It is open to residents of the downtown east side at 6 p.m. And what they're doing is they have Vancouver Trolley, uh, and they go and they're running a trolley service from the downtown east side as well uh, for attendees, and it will take them home again as well. Uh, so if you know someone in the neighborhood, if you are uh, a member of the downtown east side and you're down there and you want to do something different tonight, uh, go check, check out, out the Planetarium with Jamie because he will blow your mind with his scientician facts. We love him. We're going to take a quick break.